sister day today, and this is what I chose to wear. It's just a, a denim skirt that I've had for many, many years. Uh, I love the way it looks in the back. It's very comfortable because it's a line. It gives me lots of room. It's going to be 97 degrees here today, so I want it to be cool, and this will help me be cool. And then just a really cute little blouse that I got from um, a boutique here in our community and I've had it for quite a while. Did just a little tuck. And then for my shoes, these are some shoes from Walmart. And you would not believe how comfortable they are. They really are comfortable. Not much support, but comfortable for just a day with my sister. I'll so, take you along with me as much as I can. Cool. I but we're gonna do some errands and some running around. And so I thought I would take you for the for this adventure that I have when we have Sister Day, so let's get my going. My sweet little Oreo girl, she's she's around this morning in this beautiful day. So I'll see you later, my sweet girl. You have a good morning. You have a good morning, okay? Pretty day. Let's go. Looking forward to this day. I love my mother and daughter days with Suzanne, and I really enjoy spending uh, time with my sister Jeanette. And so, um, it's just gorgeous today. It's going to be hot, but it's really, really pretty. So, I'm looking forward to going to the city. And, of course, I've got to go to the store. So, that's that's a given these days. But I haven't been in a couple of weeks. So, it, it's time to replenish the pantry. We're here. We're ready to go to an estate sale. This is my sister, Jeanette. And we're having sister Sister's Day today. So, we're going to go in and see what we can find.
is on. This is what it looks like. Yum, with marinara and brunch. Thank you so much. Thank you bet. And there's uh, Ritz crackers and salty. Wonderful. And this is wonderful. And the table would just need more fun. Oh, yeah. 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 Can you get it in here? Uh -huh. Okay, so we've been to Best Buy trying to get an antenna. To watch the football game and that didn't go well so now we are in target it's cute and we're going to look for a pillow sham and some gorilla glue i love target one more estate sale this is a this is liquidation so we will see well you could probably take it mm -hmm. unless you don't want to Like that. You know, tell you about mine. Yeah. They active days in the Navy, 48 hours. I'm going to have to have this. Because it's something uh, different uh, that I don't have. Yes. Yeah. Look at this one. Yeah. Carry chains. I can justify it. Web phones? Yeah. I thought it said 40 phones or something. Yeah. That's very nice. Take it off. Okay. Hey. It rains. It's not a puzzle. It's a slide. What do you think? I, th I think it's unusual. It's different. It's like there ain't any. You know. Did you see that bunch of them up here? We haven't done any of them. Oh my word. And then our slide. I'm going to take a picture of it. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Gracious me. Mm -hmm. what, what kind of. Where would that be? Oh gosh. I, I that think I'm going to get this just because I like the looks of it. Okay. I thought it said 44 and I thought I don't know. Look at the Chinese. It's like there's anything in here. Oh, that's beautiful. What have you done? I know the flowers. I know the It's okay. I like the dam. What are these? So whoever that. <laughs> I can barely play. What I play. I have to hear it first. I was like, the other night, I was like, okay, Lord, I keep asking you to help me get better. So you're testing me, and here I am. So, okay, I'm going to do this. Yep. And then when I got through, I should have said, look here. The whole set, but yeah. remember the bottom head looked like a little oh, chip, yeah. and I didn't yeah. see it because they covered oh, yeah. it up with the price tag. Yeah. That really irritated me. Yeah. Oh, no. <sighs> Ooh, that's pretty stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought y'all wanted my picture. <laughs> That's okay. Good. Good. I'm excited to see something open on Thursday. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to set this down. Okay. Okay. 
I even like the snowman that sits down. Mm -hmm. That's pretty mm -hmm. dang cute. That would be cute on a chair. Mm -hmm. And him all cleaned up. Wouldn't that be He's cute? cute. I don't like that one. Cute is right there. Metal. That's cute. That one. Yes, I like and that. you got to go when? I have to be there at five. Uh, quite a collection. Mm -hmm. Look at this lamp. That's that pretty. is pretty. Mm -hmm. 24 50. It is pretty. It's a sign machine. And okay. that is a Sears. Okay. Love these shoes. Yeah. You're like, okay. And she put them right on and they fit and like she's it. worn them ever since. Ooh, look at those boots. And look at these boots. Oh my goodness, no socks. I have to have socks for mine. Let's go to the store, shall we? Always like the uh, Sears boots. Look at this. 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 That, oh, look at the pumpkins and the beautiful mums and roses. Ooh, pretty. Cool. I've got one more place to stop. Actually, two. I'm going into Sam's again to get water and Coke Zero for my husband. I do not drink any types of Cokes, sometimes just Sprite Zero, but very rarely. And a few other things from Sam's, which is a warehouse where you can buy in bulk. And then I'm going to pick up dinner for us at Taco Garcia's, and I will be ready to head home. I've had a lot of fun today. We did lots of stuff. I didn't uh, record all, all of it, but maybe a little bit. I enjoyed being with my sister, and she went to a ball game for her grandchildren and I am going to finish my shopping. So we will be on the road soon. Okay, this is the Sam's Club warehouse. It is about six o'clock in the evening and I am so ready to be finished and going home. So let's get this done. Okay, this is where I am picking up our food for tonight. And it is from Taco Garcia's. And it's going to be, I hope, really, really good. I'm not showing my grocery haul because it just would take way too long. <laughs> but I will show you what we're having for dinner tonight. This is my Mexican food. It's called uh, Viernes. And it is all cheese related, no meat. I prefer that. I'm not a big meat eater. So it's like a cheese enchilada, a cheese chili relleno, a cheese and bean uh, quesadilla with guacamole, and then a tortilla shell with cheese sauce. And then I get my husband the uh, nachos, meat, bean, and cheese, and he always really likes that. And then our leftover cheese curds from lunch, a bag of chips, three kinds of hot sauce, and we are ready to eat and enjoy watching football. This is my view. The countryside clouds. We are supposed to have some rain today, so we'll see if that really does happen. But in the meantime, I am going to walk my two mile one walk.
Today is a beautiful morning. I went for my walk, it was great, and you saw that beautiful moon still showing it. It was like 8.30, 8.45. So I'm all cleaned up. Here's what I did this morning. <laughs> I had a lot to do. I had to go out and water my plants. I had to come in and uh, wash two loads of laundry, and a third is waiting for me. I had to vacuum the carpets lightly. I used my uh, Dyson Quick Vac, not the one where I pull it through the house, just quickly to go over the carpets a little bit because I don't want to do a major cleaning until possibly next week or the next, it kind of depends. And then I always Swiffer the floors, the wooden floors and the tile floors at least once a week, sometimes twice. So I had to do that this morning, got it done. And then I had to get myself ready. So finally, and my hair's kind of been frizzed because I think we're expecting some rain later. And so it always kind of frizzes up and just falls all over my face. So um, I have to pull it back. I have to put in a band <laughs> to keep it out of my face. So I'm gonna go in here and show you what I picked up from the estate sales yesterday. Had so much fun with my sister always enjoy her coming. I love it when Suzanne and I get to do it. Uh, we will not get to do that on Saturday. She will be staying home. She has an event to go to. It's called Art in the Park with her students, and I know she will enjoy that. And then I think the next weekend she's going to stay home and clean her house and kind of uh, straighten up and catch up with her schoolwork. And then the following weekend, she'll be home because that will be her birthday uh, weekend. And I'm looking forward to celebrating with her. So let's go in here and I'll show you what I got at the estate sale sales. One of the things yesterday. that came home with me is kind of a surprise for my husband. My sister also got a Cowboys jacket. Her family is Dallas Cowboys fans. So she got the vintage jacket and I got the one that's a little bit more current. Um, it's got a different fabric on it though. I've not seen this kind of fabric that has kind of a woven nylon to it. But of course it's got cowboys on the front and sort of a athletic collar. And then on the back, of course, we've got our Dallas Cowboys. And I know, you, you know, not everybody's a fan of the Dallas Cowboys. Um, <laughs> I'm off and on. I've been a fan with my husband. He's been a fan, I guess, all of his life. So I join in with him. Um, and I, I never enjoyed football until I retired. I guess when I finally had things, you know, where I had more time, then football wasn't such an interference. But when I was teaching, I interfered with my life. It was too long, too many games, and I just didn't have time to mess with it. So, my husband was a band director in our early life, and so football games were always something that we went to. And I would go and sometimes take catalogs, which was probably rude, but, it, you know, football's just not my thing. However, since I've retired, like I said, I really have learned to try to learn the sport. And um, I still, it's, it's not my favorite thing, but I will support and I will enjoy it along with my husband because it's fun to have something to talk about that not just always about me. I want him to be included as well. And I want to follow some of him, his interests too. So I was really tickled to find this jacket and I think I may put it up and give it to him for Christmas. And I will tell him that it came from an estate sale and we'll just see how it goes. If he doesn't like it, if he doesn't want it, it's no big deal. I will sell it on Poshmark because it is in fantastic shape. It's really good. So it won't be a big deal if he doesn't. I brought home were actually for Suzanne. Since she is a high school art teacher, I got her some uh, Sharpies to use. They can be for her or they can be for her classes. They do pen ink um, art sometimes. So I've got some pens. 
I got three packages of pencils. Um, I don't know that they were on that great of a price because usually we get these on half price day. But like I said, unfortunately, I will not be able to go to half price day this weekend. So I had to pay full price. So like a dollar and a half, dollar and a half, dollar and a half, two fifty, and then two fifty for the markers. And I don't know. I haven't been to the store lately to see what markers cost. Maybe it's a little bit of savings. I hope so anyway. And then I found her some pastels. They had four fifty marked on them and they've never been used. So perhaps there's one broken, but you know, I break my pastels anyway, so that doesn't really matter. So hopefully she or her students can use those. Another thing that I found, this had never been opened, is a solar powered mosquito and bug zapper. I don't know. I don't know if it works or not, but I'm gonna give it a try. And I think it had, I'm pretty sure like $4.25 on it. That may be out of price, I do not know. But we're gonna give it a try and see if it works outside when I'm sitting on my patio. I also saw this little thing, and I know that it's been painted and somebody marked it. I don't care. It's just the cutest little thing, and I'm going to put it outside. It doesn't go in my house. I just thought it would be fun to be sitting on my wooden shelves outside with the birdhouses. It's just fun. You know, I mean, the grid work on the front, <laughs> grill work, not too good with the markers, um, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's, it's cute. It's fun. And it's all together and it's wood that's just you know anything that's made out of wood and somebody constructed it kind of tickles me and then oh yes another birdhouse this one was just adorable just darling and it's a, a lot of the birdhouses have come undone or they need some repair work done this one did not so um and i think it was three dollars I don't know if that's too high. I don't know. But anyway, I just think it's adorable and it will go with my little collection outside. And then I picked up a bag of, it was $14.50 jewelry. So I came home last night and I got four bowls and put my Dawn uh, dishwash liquid in to the bowls with pretty hot water. And I let them soak overnight and this is what was in the 1450 bag i mean i had more fun last night taking this out i really should have recorded it probably because it was like christmas every time i pulled something out I thought, oh look oh wow <laughs> so anyway now this was not a part of the 1450 bag i paid for this separately and it actually had it was in a box um, a nice velvet box but i took it away took it out three away I don't need the boxes and it was it said made in uh, uh, Japan I think it wasn't China it was Japan and so I thought that was unusual first of all but it is a necklace bracelet and earring set and guys these are the real seed pearls now, I don't know about the little crystals. I think they're just, you know, little gra glass crystals and that is okay. But the way it was done, I think it's just beautiful. And this, the chain, is very, very long. And I think you could double it if you wanted to, or you could leave it long. And the, what drew me to it was the orange color with the gold. I thought that will go great for October and November with, um, you know some of my clothing that has orange in it the rest of this did come in the bag now there were a couple things that i threw away that weren't my thing or were broken or just didn't serve a purpose but i just cannot believe what was in here oh wait let me go back to this um the box had 25 dollars on it no i was not going to pay 25 dollars and then on the bottom of the box it had um I believe eight, uh, let's see, 24, and the other one price was 15 or something. Anyway, I took it up to her and said, which one is it? Oh, she, uh, she said, oh, no, it's the 24. I said, okay, well, I'll just put it back. Thank you. And she said, no, wait a minute. Will you take 18? Or will you give 18? I said, yes. So 18 may be too much, but that's what I did. Okay, this is what was in the 1450 bag. 
cute little bracelet set with the ribbon. Now they were wearing these a few years ago. I don't care. And a lot of this I'm gonna let Suzanne look at. You know, if she wants some of it, I certainly don't care. This is a letter opener and there's a lot of earrings and the earrings are kind of pretty. Um, they have crystals in them. You know, nothing is real diamonds, even though they sparkle like real diamonds. When you wash the jewelry, look at that. I mean, that is some sparkle going on. Um, in the Dawn, it just does, I haven't read to see if it harms your jewelry. So if somebody out there goes, is horrified that I'm soaking jewelry in Dawn, then let me know. <laughs> but I've had such good luck with it. Now I will tell you, I do not do that to my jewelry. I use an actual jewelry cleaner. But when I buy something at a state sale, I don't care if it falls apart or not. And if it's gonna fall apart, it wasn't, it was cheap anyway. But I've never had anything come undone. So I don't think it hurts it. So anyway, more earrings, more earrings here. I mean, that's one, two, three, four. Oops, sorry, I forgot to move the camera. One, two, three. That's, those are just little studs. Four, five, six, seven. And then over here, there were some more uh, earrings. Eight. I think that's it. I think that's all the earrings. So eight earring sets plus all this other jewelry for $14.50. And like I said, it can be, I can tear it up. I can put it into my jewelry making. I could resell it. I could give it away. You know, it. I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. It, I haven't decided. I'm going to let Suzanne look at it definitely first. This was just a little pearl thing. I thought it was really cute. This is something that I will only keep the bracelet because it has to do with being a grandmother. So that's not me yet. And uh, these are magnifying glasses. This one was by itself. And then this one is on a chain with a little teddy bear. How cute is that? Here was a cross. And I don't know about if any of these are sterling silver. Could be, don't know. This is just a, I don't even know if these are glass beads. They're not plastic. I think they're glass. Don't know again if it's any of it's sterling silver. These were kind of unusual. They fold. So, I don't, is that a bracelet or is that used for something else? And it's got stretchy bands in it, see? So, is it a bracelet? Anyway, there were two of those. They're kind of big. So I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. But a pretty little, look at this. Great for a girl going to the prom. Um, pretty little necklace here with crystals. Let's see, this one is a Brighton. I, I mean, you know, $14.50 for this whole bag. And I get a Brighton necklace, which if you are aware of the Brighton prices, you know that this one probably cost anywhere from $50 to $75 at one time. Could be a little less, I don't know. I don't have that much Brighton jewelry. I have a little bit, but I do know how expensive it is. Here's another little necklace with crystals. And of course the camera's not gonna zoom in on, but it just shines and glows and look at these, so pretty. Now this one, I'm gonna go get my silver polishing cloth because it is tarnished. So if it shines up, I'm gonna know that that is sterling silver. And it had some little crystals on the end. Wish they were diamonds, but I'm sure that they're not. This one looks like an Alex Anani, but it has to do with the medical field. So if Suzanne has a friend who's a nurse, we could give that to her. This was just a, a little thing that you sit up and I guess you can put your, I don't know what on it, something. It's a little stand. I don't know, we'll figure out something to do with it. This was a butterfly hair clip. How cute is that? A little butterfly hat pin, a cameo pin, Isn't that beautiful. 
this was just a grape cluster um, you know they could be put on a necklace a charm this was let me move this out of the way so you can see this is a gold necklace with a crystal on the end and it happens to be a marquee shape so this is a marquee shape very beautiful nice gold chain I don't know oh man wouldn't that be neat if it was a real diamond I doubt it but Yes, you could go get them looked at, but I'm not that into it to, to worry. Now, this bracelet, to me, looked like it might go along with this necklace because of the twisting. So, I'm going to keep those together. Suzanne might be really interested. She's into gold right now, so we'll see what she thinks about that. And, guys, this, opal. this is an opal right there. And I don't know if the chain, it, it, the chain looks nice. It could be 14 karat gold, but that is definitely an opal because I had opals and anyway. Uh, this one is to put on your glasses. You can see the, the bands that go around your glasses. So a glasses chain holder, a pair of earrings. <laughs> this is kind of funny. A little guitar pen. How cute is that for something Western? And then I kind of buried these bracelets. These were, um, they reminded me of the Buddha bracelets, but the Buddha bracelets are not stretchy. These are stretchy. They're not like elastic. I mean, they actually, there's not bands in them. They actually stretch. Might kind of hurt the hairs on your arm if you stretch them, but I don't know. I'm thinking that Suzanne might really like those because they're so Buddha. I think it's called Buddha style bracelets. And then this one was really unusual. I guess it's for putting uh, pictures on, but look what it does. It, let me see if I can do this. <laughs> it wraps up, folds up, into this little situation and then you just clip that and it holds them together and it's on a nice long chain so you know I guess for a grandmother who had several grandchildren she could put their little photos in there but why couldn't you just put pictures of like flowers or something or roses and stick in each one of them and then just for novelty um, you know, issues, look, it comes apart and shows you all the pictures. Is that not adorable? So, that, these are my <laughs> treasures from yesterday. Oh, I forgot the things at the back. This could be a, um, an ornament. Your friendship is a blessing. But that was really pretty. This is a watch. I'm pretty sure that the this is not turquoise. But hey, you know, it's really nice. It's pretty. I wish that it didn't require a battery. I wish it was like a Timex and you could just wind it. And it, it it's a cuff form, so it opens up. And, you know, like I said, I don't think that's real turquoise. I'm pretty sure. But it's pretty. And then I have two watches. I mean, I can just see, these remind me of watches that my mother had. Now these I did not soak in the dawn, of course. I just wiped them off really good with a rag because they have a battery in them. And then here's the other one. You know, just, I don't know. It was sentimental to keep them because they reminded me of my mother. And then this little thing is a compass slash light. I guess a, a light for caution. If you were in trouble or something, you could flash the light. Compass, and I don't know what else is in there, but I see batteries. Anyway, it's a keychain. So, I don't know how useful that is, but anyway. So, those are my items from the estate sales from yesterday. So I've already showed you all my bears I've been working on, and I can't remember if I showed my newest snowman. 
So here's the newest little snow girl. She has on a denim skirt. <laughs> cut from the bottom hem of my daughter's pants and then I just added blue ribbons with her she's holding a little silver bell she's got a silver bell on her neck and then I gave her a snowball smile did her little cheeks and then this is a baby sock that I just uh, stuff with polyfoam and then I glued the band, rolled it up, and glued the hat on, and then glued on a little pom-pom on the top. So there's my first snowman, it kind of looks like a scarecrow, actually, I don't know. Um, little snow person that I will be selling to go with these, which I've already shown you. These were last year's designs, and I'm not real happy with them, but it's, it's going to be what it's going to be. So now I'm going to get into the rest of my snowman. So I, I never do this, but I did it the other day. I thought rather than make a snowman and then try to decorate it, I'm just going to make all the snowmen, get them out of the way, and use all the polyfoam that I had, and then they will be ready to go. So you can see how I tie the knot at the top of the head and then, and then uh, you know, section off the head, the middle, and the bottom part. And this is rice down in here. And it's just a, a plain sock, as I've showed you earlier. Just one of these kind of socks that I stuff, and then we create snowmen. So I've got my assortment of socks that I can possibly make hats out of. I've got some jersey fabric here that I'm going to try to do something. I'd like a gray silver uh, snowman. And then here are all of my materials that I've got going on to finish them up. And you know the jar of buttons that I had that I got at the other state sale? They are now all sorted and put into my container that has the buttons sorted by color. So I've got all that done over the past few days. So I am finally caught up and ready to get back into my crafting. I'm gonna go put up these materials, hide my husband's surprise jacket, and then I am going to start working again. I guess it's Friday, and since Suzanne won't be coming home for the weekend, I don't know if there's that many interesting things that are gonna go on this weekend. Other than I'm probably going to work on my snowman. So, if I finish some of the snowman, I will extend this video and show you those completed. And then hopefully, my plan is next week to start getting out my painting and get back into that. Because I need to paint some more canvas bags and I need to finish a couple of pillow covers to get ready for this craft show that's coming up in October. So, I'm going to do what I can do, and I will catch you later. Well, this is currently what is going on, excuse me, outside. We are having severe weather today, and it's supposed to get worse later on. Right now, we're just having lovely rain, and I'm hoping that the threat of hail and the tornado threats will not happen. <laughs> But anyway, we love the rain. My husband was mowed this morning. So that's just perfect. He's gonna have wonderful rain on freshly mowed grass. And little Oreo is, usually gets kind of upset when we have weather, but she's meowing over here. How are you this morning? How are you? And I am so crazy because just a while ago, homemade pizza, and I completely forgot to film the whole thing. I don't know. I've been working on my crafts this morning, so that's probably another reason that I completely forgot. But anyway, the rain is gorgeous. We will take it. It does weird things to my hair, but we're not gonna worry about that. We're more worried that we're getting this lovely rain. Um, I made pepperoni and Italian sausage pizza with black olives and onions. And I don't usually cook this heavy just for my husband and I, 
but we will have the leftovers through the week. And um, talked to Suzanne earlier, and they did not get to come to the uh, event they were going to come to because of various situations. But it also rained, so it probably it was kind of an omen that maybe they weren't supposed to come anyway because they would have gotten rained out. So because this whole area here is just flooded with rain, so we will take the rain and enjoy it and uh yeah i don't think i'm going to work on crafts the rest of the afternoon i think i would just like to sit and watch movies or something with my husband we're going to have a little banana pudding later for our snack and dessert and just sit and enjoy the rain because we rarely get this kind of rain so we're really going to take advantage of it enjoy it and be very thankful Thank you, dear Lord, for sending us this lovely rain. But I pray that we will not have severe weather for anybody in this area, you know. And thinking of those that are in the path. So, talk to you soon. Good morning. It's another week. And it's that time of year. It's that time already. Yesterday was the first day of autumn. So, I get out my stack of harvest autumn pumpkin t-shirts that I have collected over many many years. Now this one probably more suits my daughter. I'm not that much into the uh, pumpkin spice lattes because I can't have them. I have to have the decaf version which I get occasionally but you know that just I loved this t-shirt so it had to come home with me a couple of years ago. My box that I keep in my closet down here this is my um, holiday box and I pulled out all of my autumn t-shirts. I think I showed them last year. I'm not going to do it this year because I know that's not that interesting to everybody <laughs> but uh, I really haven't added to it it's the same ones I've had for years and years. And because you only wear them at this season, they last so pretty what was well. I up to this weekend? And I did not record, I don't think I recorded anything except the rain. We had some wonderful, wonderful rain that was just spectacular. We had great thunderstorm. It No hail, no damaging winds, no tornado activity but just wonderful, wonderful rain. Thank you, dear Lord, we needed it. <laughs> so I really just worked on my snow people. I cooked a little bit and I did not even share that. I made pizza on Saturday and I love making pizza. I made beef enchiladas yesterday, hamburger meat enchiladas. I have done that before. I didn't think you would be interested in seeing it again. <laughs> But my husband just loved it. I enjoyed it. I don't love my cooking, but I do love cooking ethnic type foods over, say, chicken and meat and stuff like that. I like to cook Mexican food, Italian food, Oriental food. I just, you know, that's more what I like. Not, not necessarily it's healthy for you, but more fun for me to cook. So what I'm gonna do this morning is get back into my snow people, see if I can finish them either today or tomorrow. And then I will get back to my painting that I've got to get done for uh, the craft fair that's coming up in October. <clears throat> and go out and clean up a little bit of the wind blown leaves that came on the patio and in the front step and yeah that's what i've got to do today it is monday september the 23rd i cannot believe it it's autumn again <laughs> and i added a few things that i will show quickly for autumn and then i will get into my little, business um, haunted house thing from bath and body works a couple of years ago and it's really really cute because it um projects happy Halloween, happy Halloween onto the wall, which I think is just adorable. And I'm not really that much into haunted houses, but I think this one is a cute house because of the pumpkins and the vines and the, 
the way the house is designed. So cute. So that came I out. I decorated early for autumn. This stays out on my stove top all the time. It is the Staub pumpkin that my sister so generously gave to me a few years ago. And I just leave it out all the time because my backsplash here or back oven area has pumpkins on it in the fruit theme. So I think it just fits just fine along with my tea kettle that my mother gave me. So I have this little wall uh, jack-o-lantern that I can't remember who gave this to me. It may have been my sister. She gives me so much I can't even remember. But anyway, it turns on and heats up. There's fragrance in there. So it is not a diffuser, but a melter, um, you know, and it's really, really cute. And I turn it on occasionally. I'm not gonna turn it on right now because I have some new wallflowers and I don't really need that extra fragrance going on. And then I change my little, I haven't had this for years. I don't even know what to call it. It's just, a, it has spices and knickknacks in it, dried apples, things like that. But these change with every season. So I have these little tied things that I can change for each holiday. Um, the only one it doesn't have something for, it's got a Christmas, it's got a Thanksgiving, Easter, Halloween, doesn't have a 4th of July. Mm, I can't remember what it doesn't have. But anyway, I keep it out to show the jack-o'-lantern. And seriously, I've had that for years and years, probably over 20 years. And it, then at our coffee station, I just keep out this mug, this pumpkin mug. One reason to drip whatever is left over from the Nespresso that Suzanne uses when she's home. I rarely use it, but you know, if I want to, it is there. And then my sister gave me this little spoon rest or knickknack um, little ceramic dish thing. And I just keep it by the coffee station. So I think that's basically what I have gotten out. The Dollar it's, Tree, or Dollar General, excuse me. And I don't remember if I showed it or not. I think I did, but I'm putting candy corn in it and it's just gonna stay out. Not necessarily on top of the candle. Sometimes I put it over here, but a little touch of, of uh, autumn on here. And then I am ready to show you my new little snow people. I keep calling them snowmen. They're really not snowmen, they're snow people. That one I showed the other day that has the denim skirt that one's old. Okay, this one is new. <laughs> I don't know what to think about it. Anyway, I dress them according to what cap they're going to wear. And these are socks that I just cut and leave the toe of the sock, you know, and cut away the cuff. And sometimes I roll them if it's possible. Like this one I rolled up right here. But this one I did not because I wanted you to see the little circle uh, color dots there. And then I added the pom-pom on top and she has a chenille stem mouth, the little pom-pom nose with glitter or metallic glitter I should say. A little bit bigger eyes than the others. I really think they look more clown-like than they look like a snowman but I guess it's okay. And going with the colors that are in the stocking cap, I used ribbon to go along with that. So there's a blue bell, a silver bell, and a white bell attached to all this different uh, sized ribbon. And she's holding her little blue bell in her hand. And then I did this little uh, ribbon situation where I hot glue and then put the candy canes attached there and they are the multicolored candy canes. So that is my new girl with the multicolors. And then I worked on the little silver girl yesterday. So she has the foot stocking cap. She has a little candy cane with the silver and white and polka dot ribbon. She's holding a silver bell 
and then this was just fleece that I cut off of something. I don't even know what I cut it off of. So whatever I cut, <laughs> sometimes I will save the fabric because I know I'm gonna be doing something like this. So I gather stitched it, made her a little skirt, tied the ribbon in the back, um, and just quickly, you know, made a stitch here to join the skirt together. I used to sew, believe it or not. I wasn't great, but I did enjoy it, so I'm kind of used to doing the sewing thing. And so that is Miss Silver. And she's a little heavier than some of the others. I, I told you, every time I stuff these, I think I'm getting them the same, and I'm not. They all look a little bit different. And then, you've already seen the green one. Uh, I did a pink one. So here's Miss Pink with the baby socks and pink ribbon, and she is heart related. So I made her a little necklace using some Valentine stuff that I had gotten from Michaels. And then her little skirt, I did a loop gathering skirt with ribbon. That took me forever because I looped and tied and looped and tied and went all the way around. And then I added the pink candy canes and I do hot glue them so they will not come off and they are all around in between the loops of her skirt. Her little hands have a little heart on them, cute little buttons, and she is heart related, snow person. You could use her for Christmas if you have pinks in your um, decor, but she could also come out for February, I think. And then for the country folks, I did an all natural snow person. I used raffia paper. So I, I did a, a little circle uh, belt around her. And then I tied each little piece, which also took me forever, raffia. And the bow is uh, a little bit of glitz, a little bit of, uh, what is this stuff called? Not raffia, because this is raffia. Um, cording, natural cording. And then this is more of a rustic bow that I thought would go okay. And the yellow kind of brings out the raffia. And then a um, chenille stem mouth, brown eyes for this one. And y'all, I made the hat. <laughs> I took the, uh, I took a little hat that was gonna be way too little, and then I created this hat from a toilet paper roll. So this section was a toilet paper roll, and then I just wrapped the raffia around and around and around and around and around and around and around until I covered the whole thing. And then from the toilet paper roll, or maybe it was a paper towel roll. Let me see if I have some of that left over. I know I do, I just don't know where it is. Here it is. Yeah, here it is. So I took this paper towel roll and I cut a square and then created a circle. And then because I had to get the top knot, which is right here on the snow person, into the hat, I did a circle with a circle in the middle cut out. And then I wrapped it around and around and around and around and around. And then I hot glued this part to this part and then stuck the hat over the top knot with that circle cut out. And then added the raffia ribbon and she's got a fancy little hat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to think about these things. So we kind of stuck or with, I, I sort of stuck with the same, you know, color situation. So since she was neutral, I stuck with like brown buttons, brown chenille arms, and then I added one of my cinnamon trees. She's holding the cinnamon tree. And these smell, We I baked these a couple of years ago and cut them out. You can look online for cinnamon dough. It's really easy and you bake it in the oven 
and it just lasts and lasts and it smells forever. It still smells. So I just tied that to her little hand. So those are my snow people so far and I have three left to go. So I'm trying to decide my themes and I'm kind of wearing out of my themes. Oh, I wish I had some help. I wish I had time to ask people to give me suggestions, but I, I've got to get through with this. Um, I don't know. I, I'm sort of, the socks kind of dictate what I can do. I have not used the stripe yet. Um, I've used the polka dot pink. I've used the blue and the white. So, I don't know, I'm kind of stuck as to what I'm gonna do. I may have to go back to my little velvet pumpkin circles and see what colors I've got. I'm, I don't know, would it be too odd to do one in purple? I have a purple one. I've got a red, don't really have an orange. Oh, I hadn't thought about doing a Halloween one. That might be fun. Ooh, thoughts. Okay, but that might mean making another hat. I don't care, that was that was kind of fun. Okay, so red, orange would be the pumpkin. Yellow would be my little raffia one. Green, blue, no violet. Pink, silver, I need a gold. I think I need a gold. And then a multicolor. And I might have to do one more multicolor. So if I do a... Hmm, gold, don't know about purple. I think I'm leaning more towards maybe a autumn one. Hmm, the juices are for a specific plan. I just sit down and look at all my stuff and just kind of start in. I don't know, do, do you think these things are silly? Are they ugly? I don't know. Are they worth selling? I always think, are my teddy bears silly? Are the snowmen silly? The things that I paint? I need to stop doing that. I need to just go, somebody is gonna like it, hopefully, and they will buy. And I will keep them relatively on the non-pricey side so that we can hopefully make some money this year. My sister, my daughter, and myself. I hope we all will do well at the festival. So let's get started with this day. And then in a minute, I'm gonna go out and check on the Oreo, blow off the patio probably with the blower that I have and the front, and then try to get this finished. So I think at this point, I'm probably not gonna show the new ones until my next video. So the last three are gonna be a surprise until next time. So thank you for joining me so far on this and I will see you soon. Blessings to everyone out there. I hope you have a wonderful beginning of this beautiful autumn.